Let's start with an example. Here I have a simple program that prints only a sentence hello world on the screen. Let's say we want to print it 10 times. What we would do is one way to do it is we copy it and write the same statement 10 times. So we have written it 10 times. Let's build it and run it. So we see here it's executed 10 times. But this is just 10 times. Let's say you want to run it 1000 times. What would you do? It won't be possible for you or rather it would be possible but it would be very difficult to write the same statement 1000 times. Or it can be the case that maybe you want to run for 5 times sometimes maybe 10 times sometimes that is where loops come into picture the loops help us to do the same task again and again or rather execute the same set of statements multiple times based on some conditions in c there are three types of loops the while loop the for loop and the do while loop so the basic flowchart of a loop is that we'll check for a condition if the condition is true we execute the conditional code. After executing the conditional code, we again check for the condition. If the condition is true, we again execute the code or if it is false, we exit the loop. In while loop, we have a group of statements and we'll have a condition. While the condition is true, the code within the loop keeps on executing and the condition is checked before the execution. A for loop is also similar to the while loop where the condition is checked before the execution of the statements within the loop and similar to while loop once the condition is false it exits the loop the do while loop is primarily similar to while loop with one difference in while loop the condition is checked before the execution of the statements whereas in do while loop the statements are first executed and then the condition is checked so in do while loop at least once the execution of the statements happen. So first the statements are executed and then a condition is checked whether the condition is true or false. If it's true, it goes back to the execution of the statements. If false, it will exit. We'll see in details all the three loops and also two statements, the break statement and the continue statement that are used with loops. Hi, I'm Vivek. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Do like, share and comment. They are huge motivations. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll definitely try to answer them. Do subscribe to the channel. There are new videos and tutorials coming up. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever there is a new video uploaded. Thanks and see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.